Hey, Barbara. Hey, do you want to read a book about the artist Henry Matisse? Yeah, it's called The Iridescence of Birds. Yeah, I know you love, love, love birds. Oh, iridescence? Well, iridescence is kind of like my hat. Something that is iridescent changes color based on how you're looking at it. All right, so let's read The Iridescence of Birds. The Iridescence of Birds. A book about Henry Matisse. Written by Patricia McLaughlin. Pictures by Hadley Hooper. If you were a boy named Henry Matisse, who lived in a dreary town in northern France where the skies were gray, and the days were cold, and you wanted color and light and sun, and your mother to brighten your days, painted plates to hang on the walls, with pictures of meadows and trees, rivers and birds, and she let you mix the colors of paint yellow and red, red and blue, blue and yellow, and let you arrange the fruit and flowers she brought from the market. Pears and oranges in a bowl on a tablecloth and flowers in a blue vase. And in the town, people wove silks with colors all tangled one color next to the other, next to the other, And your mother put red rugs on the walls of the house. And on the dirt parlor floor. So all the world looked red. And you raised pigeons. watching their sharp eyes and red feet. And their colors that changed with the light as they moved. That your mother called iridescence. Would it be a surprise that you grew up to be a fine painter? who painted red rooms and flowers that danced on green stems and fruit in a bowl on a blue and white tablecloth would it be a surprise that you became a fine painter who painted light and movement and the iridescence of birds.
what a fantastic book. I loved how Henry Matisse's mother was so encouraging of her son's creativity, exploration, and beauty in everything that he did. I love those iridescent pigeons, and I really love the page where Henry Matisse, as a child, painted on plates. And that gave me an idea. I have some paper plates, and I have some art materials that I'm going to be drawing and painting on. You could use crayons, you can use colored pencil, watercolor, markers, just pencil, whatever you have laying around the house to create your artwork. Henry Matisse painted birds on his plates. So, with the help of my tablet, I looked up some different pictures of birds to draw. A wonderful website to look at drawings and pictures of birds is audubon.org. They have drawings and pictures of birds from around the world. So, I can't wait. Let's start painting and drawing my plates. There they are, my paper plate bird paintings. I have the American tree sparrow, the mountain plover, and the Atlantic puffin, all inspired by the iridescence of birds, the story of the childhood of Henry Matisse. I hope you too can be inspired by beautiful birds, by paper plates, and by the young creative mind, and create your own unique artwork. And for me, I think I should let Barbara outside so she can do some bird watching. Until next time.